What's up guys, Bobby here from Sliptex, and today I'm gonna to show you how to perform a data sync. Let's check it out. Our data sync feature allows you to import missing information from a third party service from a spreadsheet. Let's say you don't have a developer or an API set up, you can do a manual update of all the subscribers inside your Sliptex account to add things like custom field data or default field data like first name, last name, city, state, zip code. So let's go ahead and perform a data sync right now. All right, so on the contacts tab, you'll see that I have a list selected here at the top and there's only one contact. What I want you guys to see here is that there's no job description, location, or name on file. So what we're gonna do is we've had the person opt in, but we want to add the missing information from a third party source through a spreadsheet. So we're gonna click on tools and we're gonna sync contact data. Now, considering that you have this missing information on a spreadsheet with their number, what our system is gonna do is it's gonna find a matching number from your spreadsheet and a matching number as a subscriber. And when it finds those two matching numbers, it's going to take the data off your spreadsheet and update it to the subscriber on file. Just remember that if you have data in slick text and data on that spreadsheet that you match up, it will overwrite the existing data in slick text. So we're gonna browse for our file, then we're gonna open and upload. And what list do we wanna sync this data to? Our BB Grill list, the phone numbers. If we look back on our spreadsheet, the phone numbers are in the third column. We're just gonna match up the column data. All right, so phone numbers in the third, first name are in one, last name two, we'll skip the rest. We'll go down to the bottom to custom fields. And it looks like it was category, location, and description. So category was in column number five, location in six. So category is in five, location is in six, and descriptions are in seven. All right, then we're gonna hit sync data. We're gonna look for matching numbers. All right, it's found two valid phone numbers and there was one that was a subscriber on the list and one that matched that subscriber on the spreadsheet, therefore only one contact was updated. If we now go back over to the contacts tab, you can now see that my first and last name are updated, my job description and location have been updated as well and uh, actually have been added and my job category has actually been changed from Project Green Book to Project Blue Book. So that's how you perform a data sync here at Slitex. Should you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 1-800-688-6290 or email us info at Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you in the next one.